making prepping for these, it's just looking for video content. And one of the cool things is that there's so much great content already online, uh, in part due to the work by Visit Tucson, many of you as partners, but that's where it stops, because we need more of it. Uh, I feel like as a community, we can't rely only on the CDBs to generate that video content. And what I want to cover today uh, are maybe some strategies that you guys can develop that on your own. Cool. So I mentioned that I want to cover three trends uh, that I think are representing the greatest changes to the travel industry uh, probably in the last 20 years. This one's not new, the first one, the global web. Um, but what I would say about the global web um, is that in the same way, and we'll talk about content, in the same way that the web made bookings available maybe 10 years ago, 15 years ago with major OTAs, it's now disseminating information and content so that folks from all over the country can see the messages you guys are putting out and plan more easily. And that's why we see such rises as Brand USA um, and other great travel trends. The second is mobile. So all those different devices, this is the single greatest, in my opinion. If you look at Silicon Valley, where I work, every single company will rise or fall on their ability to adapt to mobile over the next two years. I truly believe that. And we're sort of the bellwether, the pointy end of that technology movement. The same will happen for travel over the next, uh, I would say, probably four years. Then the last is video. Big changes happening here, and I'll just cover a couple trends on the why, but we'll focus more on the how. So I want to start with an exercise. Uh, I love this exercise called headlines because ultimately there are a lot of changes happening. I mentioned this, but who cares, right? The reason we look at those is because you all have goals. You have sales goals, you have product goals, you have innovation goals of making sure that Tucson is at the forefront or your product is at the forefront, whatever that may be. And so in the spirit of innovation, Larry, our CEO, challenges us to think 10X. I'd like everyone in the room um, to think about, so right now here we are in the middle of 2015, if you were to look to January 1st, 2017, so I'll give you about a year and a half, and you could design any headline that were true for any way of disseminating that information. It could be a traditional headline, it could be an online headline, um, it could be covered on some type of media. What would that headline be? And I do not want you to be completely constrained by your existing budget or your existing staff. Uh, think big and we'll hear from a couple people. So I would like you to turn to the person next to you. We'll have about 45 seconds here to just think about your big headline. 